Hello! Welcome to our Arkel Training Videos channel. In this training video, we will explain how to perform shaft learning, LOP installation, and LOP position learning in the Arcode Integrated Lift Control System. Mechanical installations must first be completed before you learn the shaft. Shaft learning process preliminary. The electrical connections between the inspection box and the R-code panel must be completed before starting the connections. Once the connections are completed, the software should be updated to ensure that the inspection board can work with the system. As per the diagram, the pre-limit switches must be connected to their corresponding locations in the inspection box. 817 is in the down direction and 818 is in the up direction pre-limit switch. Additionally, pre-limit magnets must be installed in the appropriate places in the shaft, as per the diagram. ML1, ML2 magnetic switches must be connected according to the diagram after they are mounted on the car. When connecting the switch, the ML1 must be at the bottom and the ML2 must be at the top. If the lift sense product is used instead of the ML1 and ML2 switches, the connection must be made according to the lift sense document. 30 cm floor magnets should be placed in the door zone. When placing the magnets, the car door sill must be as level as possible with the floor door sill. In this case, it is recommended to install a 30 cm floor magnet with its midpoint in between the ML1 and ML2 magnetic switches. If the lift sense product is in use and the car door sill and the floor door sill are at the same level, the starting point of the 30 cm magnet must be leveled with the mounting line on the lift sense product. Once the magnets are installed, the status of the ML1 and ML2 magnetic switches connections must be confirmed. To do this, the position of the ML1 and ML2 signals must be checked via RM when the lift is moving in the inspection or recall state. When the lift goes down and reaches the door zone magnet, you must confirm that the ML2 signal is active after ML1. If safety circuit was bridged for pre-installation, the bridging should be removed according to the electrical diagram and the appropriate safety circuit connections should be made. Door command signals of the K3 close command, K5 open command and door safety circuit connections must reflect their appearance in the diagram. If the installation is completed according to the EN 81-20 standard, you must confirm that the shaft bottom inspection signal 868 is connected to the pit inspection hand terminal and active on RM. If the installation is completed according to the EN81-1 standard, the connection related to signal 868 is not required. The connection of the inspection hand terminal on the car roof to the inspection box must be completed. Additionally, the pit inspection signal 868, inspection signal on the car 869 and the recall inspection signal 870 must be active on the RM hand terminal. Shaft Learning The shaft learning procedure is to be performed following the completion of the auto-tuning procedure in R code. It should be observed that the safety circuit and inspection signals are active before starting the shaft learning. The shaft learning procedure in R code is completed as follows. Select Tools and enter the menu. Enter the basic settings in the device parameters and set the operating mode to normal operation. Changes are saved by exiting the device parameters menu. Press the Enter button by selecting the shaft learning icon. Press the F2 key on this screen to commence the shaft learning process. The lift will stop at the bottom floor. It will then move upward and stop at the top floor. A Do you want to save the learn values screen will appear following the completion of the shaft learning. Once you select yes and press the enter button, our code will save the values 
and the lift will go to the bottom floor with a position reset. This means that the shaft learning was successfully completed. Following the shaft learning procedure, the floor fine-tuning procedure must be performed. Landing Operation Panel LOP Installation and Position Learning LOP Installation If you are using the CAN bus serial LOP systems, the connection of the CAN bus cable and LOPs should be made as follows. CAN bus cables from the shaft CAN bus line in the panel are connected to the KXCBA connection sockets in the door zone. After connecting the CAN bus cable on the bottom floor, the CAN bus terminator must be connected to the KXCBA connection socket. Otherwise, the LOPs may not function correctly. The XCB1 socket on the landing operating panel, or LOP, is used for the CAN bus connection. One end of the CAN bus cable is connected to the XCB1 socket, and the other end is connected to the KXCBA. The XUCL socket on the board is the up call socket. The XDCL socket is the down call socket. Depending whether full collective or single buttons are used, the corresponding buttons should be connected to the XUCL or XDCL sockets. If the LOPs have speakers, the XSPE socket will serve as the speaker output. These connections are made for all floors. Since there will only be down calls on the top floor, the XDCL socket will be used. Since there will only be up calls on the bottom floor, the XUCL socket will be used. If this is the first time the LOPs have been connected to the CAN bus line, a software update will need to be performed. Otherwise, the LOPs will not work with the system. LOP Position Learning Floor position learning is required for serial systems only. The RM hand terminal is plugged into the cabin operating panel, or COP, or into the CAN bus socket in the panel. Press the Tools button and enter the menu. Select the LOP learning icon from the menu and press the Enter button. Select the LOP learning parameter from the options displayed and press the Enter button. The learning screen will appear. The unlearned floors are indicated with a cross mark. The red box on the RM shows the floor where the car is located. Press and hold the floor call button. After a few seconds, the LED on the button will flash on the RM screen and change from a cross mark to a green tick mark. This indicates that the corresponding floor has been learned. You may release the button. This process is applied to all floors by calling other floors in the car. The red box can be automatically or manually moved to the corresponding floor using the RM arrows. After each floor has been learned, press the ESC button to exit the menu. The shaft learning and LOP learning procedures are performed in this way. See you in our next Arkel training video. Goodbye!